Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 11 on any computer. I will be leaving a link to Media Creation Tool, a tool called Rufus, and those are the only two links that are going to be in the description. If you want to find the Windows 11 ISO, you will have to do some searching online. However, it's not too hard to find. But uh, if you look for like Mega or uh, Google Drive links, you'll find that a Windows 11 ISO. It's under the name like 21996.1. They have like client in a, client in the name, but you'll find it. It's around the size, um, so uh, 4.53 gigabytes. But let me show you guys how to install it on any PC. Now there is one tool I forgot to add to this folder, so let me go ahead and get that now. One second. All right, so. Here I added a new tool called Rufus. Now let me uh, make this a little bit bigger. Let me use extra large icons. So you have Rufus, Media Creation Tool, and then a Windows 10 ISO, which you get from the Media Creation Tool, and a Windows 11 ISO. This will allow you to install it on any PC, even older ones that don't support Secure Boot or TPM 2.0. If you get the error, like how you can't install it on this PC, this will fix that. So what you want to do is launch Rufus. It should take a little bit, but eventually you'll get this window. But then you want to hit select. You want to go over to the Windows 11 ISO, which you found from another source. Select either GPT or MBR. Either one will work, but I suggest doing GPT if your computer can handle it. If you're if you have a, a legacy boot, um, choose MBR. But yeah, I'm going with GPT for this video. Uh, name the flash drive whatever you want, and then hit start. Now I already have it installed, so we're gonna have to take care of the next part, which is the media creation tool. You want to launch that. Hold on, it's gonna take a little bit of time for the thing to catch up. There we go. So you have the media creation tool. You want to, it says getting a few things ready, so you just want to um, let that do its thing. So one second, folks. Alright, so from here you want to hit accept. Again, it's getting a few things ready. Now, there's going to be a, a thing that I want to show you guys. Um, so, I'm just going through this. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what settings you need to have set up for this. But one second. Oh, all right, it already uh, went over here. Select Create Installation Media, next. Now, you might want to have this checked, but if it do, if it says like 32-bit or the language that's not in the ISO, for example, I think the ISO only comes in English, but for me, I have it set for English, US, Windows 10, and 64-bit. It needs to be 64-bit, and your computer needs to support 64-bit operating systems. If it says 32-bit, click that and hit 32-bit. However, I'm going with 64-bit. Hit next, ISO file, next, and then basically create your ISO file, hit save, and it'll go through the whole process of downloading and creating the ISO. Now for the next part, I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna quit, yes. All right. Um, so the next part, what you want to do is grab your ISO, which I have the Windows 10 ISO here, and mount it. Go into Sources, press Control A on your keyboard, scroll down, or basically what you could do is just um, basically just select everything here. So you can either do Control A, or go to the very top and just select everything here. But what you want to do, go. You want to look for install.esd or install.wim. Either way, you want to press control on your keyboard, hold that down, and click install.esd. And it'll deselect it. Press and hold control C on your keyboard, or just or just to do uh, that and copy. And you want to go over to the um, the flash drive where you have Windows 11. Hit sources and paste. This will start copying over all the files except for the install.wim. 
Now I will show you guys how to uh, set this up. I'm not going to install it on the laptop, but I will show you how to get through it uh, on you know on the laptop. If if it, you get to this point, hit replace the files in your destination, and this will just continue and copy over all the files. For after this, we're going to pick up from another lap from another machine that doesn't have the ability to install this natively. And I'll show you guys that it does work. All right, so for the next part, um, what you want to do is, one second, let me eject the flash drive from my main computer. If you notice over here, there is a Core i7 2700X, or no, QM I mean. 2760QM, that's what I meant. Um, I'm doing this all in one take, by the way, but as you guys can see, there's that. This does not have secure boot or TPM 2.0. What you want to do is plug in your flash drive. Oh, let's boot from it. Hold on. Uh, one second. I am doing this all in one take, by the way. But uh, you want to boot into the flash drive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically um, press Shift and restart just to make things easier. Um, but you want to boot into this menu. Hold on. Um, Alright, so it's currently doing things. Hold on. Alright, so it's rebooting computer. It's kind of hard to see. Um, Alright, you guys can't see anything, but it's currently booting into... Um, hold on, one second. Alright, so what you want to do is boot into your uh, menu here. I tried the other method, but it didn't work. Essentially, what you want to do is um, boot into your USB boot drive menu or your drive menu. On Dell laptops, it's F12. On HP laptops, it's F9. Sorry, guys. And there's a whole bunch of different options you can go from. Uh, you can, you know, different keys that you can choose or different keys that are, you need to use for different motherboards. For Dell, I'm doing F12. You want to go down to UEFI, or if you chose MBR, like before, select USB storage device. Before we went for GPT, so let's select this one, and it will boot, hopefully, yep, as you guys can see there, it's booting up. Now, the setup is fairly the same as you would normally see, but I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to show you guys just how long this takes. I'm not going to cut. But as you guys can see here, it takes a little bit of time. And there is also something else I want to show you here. So let's just let this do its thing. And as you guys can see there, I did not cut that, but it changed to the Windows 10 boot logo. That's because one of the files we copied over was boot.wim or boot.esd. And it's basically using the Windows 10 boot menu here. The Windows 10 boot option here. So what you want to do is go into next. And yeah, it's still Windows um, 11. But yeah, let's hit next. And you get to... Um, well, let's, let me show you guys. So setup is starting. Now there's a certain point where it stops. I'll show you that in a second. But if you hit, I don't have a product key. You should see this. Let's select Windows 11 Pro, for example. You can choose any of these, but I'm going, oh, sorry. 11 Pro, you can choose any of them though, but hit next. And this is where it'll tell you where it won't work. But if you notice right here, we are able to get into the license agreement and install it. This is literally this exact same computer. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it works just the same as you would on a standard normal as a newer computer. And yep, you can just quit. And that's about it. You can install this on essentially any computer that supports Windows 10. As far as I'm concerned, if it supports Windows 10, it's going to support Windows 11 through this method.
but yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.